might be uh, Smash Con. It, it remains to be seen. Yes, of course. Like, give it some time. But All right, so we in here. Loser's top eight. I love watching Briggs. <laughs> Honestly, like, Briggs and Jewel breathe a new life into Xenos. And there was a long string where I just couldn't come to Xeno. Whether it's because the Long Island carpools decided to, to rest. They wanted to gas <laughs> up for the next six years. Or just the fact that I was, like, super Omega busy. But these boys made tuning into Xeno a pleasure every single week. Even when you get stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So right now, a very, very strong start for Riggs. Is this, this, this can't be it. Can it? Nah, man, this is Diddy versus Link. The hell? I, yeah. Listen, Riggs will take anything he can get. He can play his heart out. But at the end of the day... Diddy's aerial, better than Lynx. Diddy's item, better than Lynx. Diddy's grab, better than Lynx. Yeah, Riggs hits like a truck when he hits, but he has to be super precise with everything he's doing. And he can't really afford for anything to, to whiff or be unsafe. I get the reverse every down here, and oh my god, it's a mashing of this man. Oh, back here, that's gonna not do nah. it because he got the bomb! Oh, but, yeah, that, that Bounce it back and forth, and there he goes. All right. Dill, after a bit of a hiccup at the beginning of the match, manages to tie things back up. Basically. And we're back on the onslaught. And there goes the lap. Even way early. Like, Dill is out for revenge now. He hasn't gotten touched in a very long time. That 11 has been on the screen for quite some seconds. <laughs> Quick bomb pull just to uh, break up the situation. And I've always thought it was interesting to see the way that bombs can be used. Like, yes, I, may, I'm, I make note that Banana is better than bombs because it, it truly is the best weapon that we uh, see in competitive play as far as item spawns go. But that's not to say that Link's bombs don't have their own versatility. It's a very strong item for being able to control stage. It just blows up instead of tripping. And for what it's worth, you can have multiple bombs on the stage. Diddy can't say that anymore. Nope. Oh my goodness. Just rolling right into him and still able to get the hits, get the advantage. For a little time he can. Projectile game so strong right now coming from Riggs. That's how he has to move this. He has he can't afford to like let up any of the pressure on Dill, but he also can't afford to stop pressing buttons. Like, he needs to constantly be fighting back. All right. Gets his grab, goes for the down throw, and second hitter forward air does manage to secure him stage control. Oh, wow. Nice back air. Just for, good for a good measurement. Yo, the get, the, get, the get balloon that. ate the banana, and in that moment, Riggs knew that he was done. Watch, he does such a good job of setting this up, throws the banana. If it came back down yeah. after the bounce on the shield, it would have hit Dill. Mm -hmm. Or it would have found itself on the platform and tripped Dill, which would have been a tragedy in the making. But instead, that press happened. that young assist button, and Dill manages to secure game one. So let's see what happens in game two. Now, if Riggs can get a little bit of a, uh, a blessing at the beginning of this game as well, I feel like the change in setting might benefit him pretty strong. Like, moving to Final Destination, when you're not playing a character that's juggling, usually isn't the best option. But as any person who has traveled onto Fort Glory can tell you, someone very patient and very projectile heavy can make a stage with no projectile, uh, with no platforms, rather, a living hell. As you can see right now. But still able to get in there, get some hits. Riggs gotta back him up, like, no, 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 let me, let me play my game real quick, and then I'll get some damage on you. He's gonna be nervous every time Riggs is going off stage, though, because Diddy's so strong. He can kill him at this point. The percentage difference right now is pretty, uh, pretty, uh, dire. Oh my goodness! That's what I was waiting for, waiting for a down air to possibly kill. And at 108%, it's, it's not looking so hot right now. I mean, for what it's worth, Link can make good use of Rage if Riggs manages to survive. And I don't question his ability to survive. Of course. I just question his ability to come off the ledge when Dill is alive. 
That's just how it is. But Riggs does manage to do it, sitting at 123%. He's going to have to make a turnaround happen fast if he wants to try and make anything out of this game, too. And putting the percentage on Dill is definitely the first ways to go about it. Nice, with the banana drop, but still off stage. Got to be very careful. Nice recovery. I like the pressure. Back air and end up tilt. Good combination. Oh, wow. <laughs> and even, yeah, he's even got to shake that off. Like, all right, all right. 91%, still a little bit of a chance for Riggs. Oh, but. The <laughs> bomb's just going off a little bit too late. This would have been a nice setup, though. You know, Rick, I think part of me is going to miss Diddy Kong's up tilt killing. I never stopped being entertained by the fact that it's such a, a little <laughs> flick of the wrist. A little flick of the wrist and stock. Like, what? Monkey Flip <laughs> giving Dill a little bit of relief from Riggs' reversals. Ah. Cool line slide. He didn't need to do it. He's got a little tilt of his own, but that one doesn't kill. Oh, this can be punished. Oh my goodness. Timely spot dodge. <laughs> Too many items. Oh my goodness, he, I think that's the first time he's connected with that, this, the, this whole uh, time he's been on stream. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's so sad for Riggs. Oh my god. Oh no. I don't know if I can watch this again. Watch it slow motion. Oh. Just like that, there's the moment. Riggs lands it. He's oh like, yes, my gosh. I can bring this back.